Hello everybody and welcome back to another brand new Doc 2 video. I'm back talking about Doc 2 again, it's so exciting. It just feels really fun to be doing it to be honest. I mean today we're talking about a pretty exciting, interesting topic that I don't really know the answer to but I think it's a really fun discussion to have. And that is, for, I feel like for the first time ever in Doctor Who history, we actually don't know who the Doctor is going to regenerate into. And that's like, we're like five days away from the episode and we don't know who she's going to regenerate into. That's that's madness. That's so exciting. So join me as we have a little chat, a little discussion about just who might be, I suppose, the next Doctor? Let's call it that. So yes, we're in many ways in unprecedented times, as we've been told for the last two years. And now it feels like we're in unprecedented times for Doctor Who, because we don't know whether Jodie Whittaker is going to regenerate into Shuti Gatwa, which seemed obvious. He's the 14th Doctor. They've been saying that all the time. Or because of the whole 60th anniversary special confusion, is she going to regenerate into David Tennant? Now, I, I don't quite know where I sit on this. And I feel like maybe this video, by talking about it, we're going to kind of work it out together because I don't quite know what I want or what I expect. Um, I feel like it's really possible it could be either. Like it would be sort of, you know, pure classic kind of RTD shock factor because you'd have to guess that RTD wrote that side of the regeneration. If Jodie regenerates into um, David Tennant, we sort of, we know that Jodie does regenerate in this episode. Um, we obviously, you know, we know we're going to see that. We know that's going to be the ending. Uh, intriguingly, the press screening last week did not show the regeneration scene. They showed the whole episode, like, a, you know, an hour and 24 minutes of it or something. And then those last two or three minutes with whoever Jodie regenerates into has not, you know, not been shown to the public, essentially, or shown to the press or shown to anybody. So that's where we're really, you know, in a bit of confusion because we, of course, know that next year, in 2023, we've got three specials for the sixth anniversary, but David Tennant is the Doctor. He's going to be the Doctor for those specials. Like, maybe there'll be cameos from other Doctors. Maybe Shuti Gatwa will appear in a cameo in some form as well. But fundamentally, next year is going to be about David Tennant and Catherine Tate. And then series 14 for 2024, that's going to be Shuti Gatwa as the Doctor, his first series. So is it the case that we're going to get Jodie regenerating into David Tennant and then at the end of the 6th anniversary specials will he then regenerate into Shuti Gatwa because actually this version of David Tennant is actually Doctor 13.5 or something? Um, or is Jodie just going to simply regenerate into Shuti Gatwa and then, you know, like the 6th anniversary specials actually happened in series 4 time and we're going back in time a bit? But then that doesn't make sense because we've got Donna with her um, sort of grown-up daughter, which would suggest that the time has passed to this current time. So it's really confusing and really intriguing. And I, in many ways, it's quite exciting that we don't know. I know. Obviously, we know ultimately who the next Doctor is going to be. We know it's going to be Shuti Gatwa. But we still have a lot more kind of jeopardy and intrigue and excitement around it because really Jodie could regenerate into David Tennant which would be the ultimate sort of you know WTF, WTF moment I think. I will absolutely say that when this sort of concept this idea was first rumoured probably around was it the end of last year the beginning of this year the whole David Tennant returning for specials um, in 2023 but then also that he wasn't just going to return as the 10th Doctor he was going to be the next Doctor. I'm pretty sure there's a video where I literally entitled it why David Tennant is not the next Doctor or is not the 14th Doctor or something because I was so firmly in the belief that wasn't going to happen that Russell would be stupid to do that it'd be a load of nonsense but kind of like after just having it sit there around in the Doctor Who in the sort of fandom sphere for six months nine months or whatever not thinking about it that much but it kind of just being there as an idea I actually don't mind it anymore I can kind of get on board with it I feel like it'd be you know something un unexpected unprecedented for Doctor Who to have that sort of regenerate into the same actor that's played it before. I mean, I hope that if that happens, that it's kind of acknowledged that he is the same person again, but a different Doctor, and that whole leads to a whole line of confusion and interest. Um, I mean, I'm sure it would go that way. Um, but actually, whereas I was kind of stringently against it at the very start, I can now kind of get on board with it. And, and I, I think it almost it would just leave us with so many questions, even more questions, if Jodie regenerates into Shuti Gatwa, and then the episode ends, and we're like... Okay, but also David Tennant's in the in the specials next year, like it's the David Tennant show for for three episodes in twenty twenty three. So how the heck does this all link in? Um, I'm just so intrigued to see kind of what the the end points and the flow into those specials is going to be. 
because if it's shooty, it almost doesn't make as much sense as if it is actually David Tennant that, you know, she regenerates into. Now, of course, there's always a small possibility that we won't actually see her complete her regeneration. We've obviously, she's obviously said she, you know, had her last line. She's, you know, presumably moved into the position of regenerating, you know, arms up in the air and whatever. Um, whether that's in the TARDIS, whether that's somewhere else, which is also, you know, quite intriguing as to what that's going to be. Um, but, you know, we, we could end up getting all of that and then, I don't know, maybe it cuts away mid-regeneration to either to, to the end credits, but I feel like that would seem unlikely given they pulled it out of the press screening. That did suggest that there's some form of scene at the end which suggests, you know, what's going to happen in the future. Or whether we cut away from Jodie and cut to David Tennant somewhere and he's a bit confused or something um, and don't see the regeneration complete, maybe. Maybe something like that could happen. Um, or, you know, it will glitch between David Tennant and Shooty Gatwa, like it'll start, she'll start appearing as Shooty and then it'll kind of glitch into David Tennant. That would also be quite cool as well. Um, yeah, I just think, you know, it's definitely not as simple as Jodie's going to regenerate into David Tennant who is the 14th Doctor who regenerates into Shooty, who is the 15th Doctor, because otherwise they wouldn't have spent forever marketing Shooty Gatwa as the 14th Doctor. You know, I know the numbering is kind of much of a muchness, but that's what they've gone with. So that must mean that David Tennant can't just be the natural random person who happens to become the Doctor, um, in, you know, from the sort of person point of view, the appearance point of view. You know, there's, it is a significant thing that it's the same actor that played him before, and that's going to tie into the plot. But whether we see him straight away or we don't, I just don't know. Ultimately, my gut feeling is that Jodie will regenerate into David Tennant and, you know, she's going to just, the regeneration is going to happen and she's going to wake up, she's going to be David Tennant again and you're going to have Tennant as the Doctor kind of, you know, doing what the heck is this, maybe looking in a mirror or something and going, wait, fuck. I've done this before. What's going on? And then, you know, cut to, cut to credits. Uh, maybe a next time trailer, wouldn't that be cool? You know, I, I kind of hope they do the old to be continued moment like they had back in the RTD era. You know, the little to be continued um, would just be really exciting and really fun, I think, and bring back the bit, but a little bit of nostalgia and all that would just be great stuff. Um, and maybe a little trailer as well, as I say, would be really, really exciting. But that is my gut feeling. Uh, I could go either way. I really think it could. You know, there are many options, but my gut says she's going to regenerate into David Tennant. And somehow, if and when that happens, I think the fandom is going to slightly explode into craziness and chaos. So it's going to be an exciting Sunday, I think, isn't it? But guys, I'd love to hear your theories, your thoughts. What what What's your prediction? What is going to happen at the end of Power of the Doctor? Is it going to be just Jodie and then go to black? Is it going to be David Tennant? Is it going to be Shooty Gatwa? Is it going to be something else completely just to confuse us? Um, I would love to hear your theories as well because, you know, I've got a gut feeling, but I don't really know. I'd just love to hear what you guys have to say as well. But yeah, guys, we are just a few days away from Power of the Doctor. I'm going to have a few more videos coming up in the run up to it, hopefully a live stream at the weekend as well. And of course, a reaction to come after the episode, which is going to be really, really exciting. Uh, but that is just about it for this video, guys. Please hit that like button, that subscribe button. If you're new here, check, check out all my different Doctor content i'm back i'm making content again so if you're new here then now is the time to join um, and i will see you again very soon for a brand new video but until then it's goodbye